Oh, boy. Have you guys seen John Rice Plumley? I think there are three letters that are going to dominate the conference that a lot of people aren't ready for. They are J R P. Gus Malzon. Can we can we we all forget? People seem to forget. Auburn fans especially because they kicked him out of town. How good of a coach Gus Malzon has been pretty much every step of the way. Dominated as the OC of Auburn. Was a much better coach than Gene Chizik. Won them a national championship. Gene Chizik actually got fired pretty quickly after Gus Malzahn left. Because Malzahn was the mastermind. He's great at Arkansas State. He beats Alabama at Auburn. And every, every, every step of the way, people are screaming, Ah, I hate Gus Malzahn. What if we are all missing out? on what could be the surprise team of 2023. John Rice Plumley's UCF Knights. John Rice Plumley, former National Beta Club officer in Mississippi, roommate with pitcher Cameron Crane. He is dynamic. Kid can run the ball. And when UCF ran the ball last year, they were 5 and 0 oh when averaging 5 and a half yards per carry or more and 7 and 0 oh, including beating Tulane and Cincinnati when running for more than 210 yards but 0 oh and 4 when they didn't run for 160 if John Rice Plumley if John Rice Plumley can run the ball if he can throw the ball if he can bring his veteran prowess behind an offensive line that brings in defensive tackle Marshall Marcellus Marshall, then I like this team. Bula Schmidt, transfer center. I like this team. You've got, oh, I, I've just been, I've been doing a lot more research about this squad. Javon Baker, Kobe Hudson. In my notes here, I have Jason Johnson, linebacker, beast. Ricky Barber, defensive tackle, beast. The defense has got some dudes. The defense has got some dudes. They fumbled the ball a lot last year. Their win total is, you know, people expect them to be about a, a six to seven win team. It's kind of their welcome to the power five year. But what if, envision it, what if this team who has won some New Year's six games, who has proven to the world they belong in the power five, they can win games at the power five level, would it be so insane to think that UCF might be good at football this year. Can a UCF fan please? I will buy it from you. I just want to pay I want to pay people that listen. I will buy a t-shirt from you or a jacket or something. Now, UCF schedule is not the easiest thing in the world. They kind of got boned a little bit. Versus Kent State, you're going to win that game, please. Please for the sake of the Big 12. At Boise State. Tough. You're going to win that game, right? You're not going to make me look like an idiot. Villanova at home. That's you're, you're, you're going to win that. Then things get really dicey. They didn't get a great draw in the Big 12. They go to Kansas State. Welcome to the Big 12, son. Kansas State might win the conference. And now you have to play them in your, in your first Big 12 game ever. Baylor at home. They won the Big 12 a year ago. They've got a, a pretty, pretty good squad. They should be on the top half of this conference. Another tough game. Kansas on the road. They have the Preseason all Big 12 quarterback and running back. Might be the best offense in the league. Oh, Oklahoma on the road. Thank God you get a bye week in there right before it. Oklahoma on the road. West Virginia at home. You win that game. You win that game. Cincinnati on the road. You win that game. Oklahoma State at home. You can very well win that game. Texas Tech on the road is tough. Houston at home, you win that game. I am looking at a, a, some guaranteed wins, guaranteed bowl eligibility. Kent State, guaranteed win. Boise State, I'm going to give it to you, guaranteed win. Villanova, guaranteed win. I, I'm, I'm almost there to give you Kansas. I can give you West Virginia. I can give you Cincinnati and Houston. That's six wins, UCF. Then what can you do? What kind of chaos can you create in this conference? Can you get road wins against a Oklahoma against Cincinnati, Texas Tech. I, I think Cincinnati is going to happen. I'm going to need you to go beat Kansas. 
Oklahoma, we are overrating a little bit. They were really bad last year, six and seven. I They played in Orlando in the cheese Bowl. I need you to go beat Oklahoma. Kansas State on the road's tough. Oklahoma State at home is tough. They're not going to be great. I, I think Oklahoma State probably finishes in the nine or 10 range of these 14 teams, but oof, still like seasoned power five team. Baylor probably finishes in the five to seven range in this conference. Oof, tough still. Power five season team won a Sugar Bowl a year ago. The schedule, I, I, I want to apologize for the schedule. We should have given the hardest schedule to UT in Oklahoma. Instead, we gave it to you, UCF. Can you can you do something with it, please? They could be a surprise team. UCF could shock some people this year. Win, go win eight games. That'd be surprising. Should you be happy? I would hope you're happy with seven. You know, being a power five team for the first time ever. Go win eight. I see it. I see it mapped out on your schedule. John Rice Plumley. I love you and I miss you. I'm also going to miss you guys. I miss you guys every day that I'm not on the show. Every day, with the, like with the, the outside of the half hour that we get to, that we get to talk. I miss you. I wish we could just talk all the time, but we can't. We can't. Maybe we'll figure out how one day. Come back tomorrow. I've got a couple things planned this week. Some engaging, interesting stuff. I'm going to have some guests, by the way. I need to get more guests in this fold. Give you some different perspectives in jazz, too. You like the backdrop? I hope you like the backdrop. This has been and it always will be locked on. Come back tomorrow for more of it. Big 12.